Hi, I'm Linda from Little Farmhouse Flowers in Jay, New York. We are growing specialty cut flowers on about two and a half acres in the Adirondack Park in northern New York. I think that my interest and love for growing flowers came from probably my parents and my grandmother. Uh, my grandmother loved flowers and I can remember um, always being around them at her place. Eventually, I became an art teacher. My teaching schedule provided for these long uh, spans of summer vacation time. And for me, as a visual arts person, I think I tended right um, into flowers. During one school year, I started to just really get into thinking about the possibilities of having a flower farm. It was around the winter time, January, that I decided to leave my teaching job. I gave notice there. I actually started all of the seedlings uh, before we had land, before we had a place to put them, because I was so determined to make it happen. We had a few months, really, to find a farm and to find a way to break ground. When we came here, we had a home, but a really big yard, basically, that is turning into the flower farm that I'd love it to be. We closed on our house here May 1st, and then I think I had everything planted by mid-June uh, for the season. We have a pretty short growing season. Our Last frost date can be around June 1st, and our first frost can be around September 1st. Um, so those dates are kind of very sticky in my mind in terms of planning for our season. We grow a wide variety of flowers and greens here on the farm. Sunflowers, dahlias, those are really exciting right now. Lilies, uh, tulips are an important crop for us, and a whole host of different kinds of perennials that are really happy here, peonies, lupin, globe thistle, sea holly, different kinds of rudbeckia, and we have some specialty items that we are growing undercover, like garden roses and heirloom chrysanthemums. Our flowers find their way into customers' hands a few different ways. A local independent grocery store, a subscription membership, and then we also do a lot of wedding work. We are surrounded um, by two open meadows of naturally occurring weeds. My enemies are constantly, you know, blowing through the fence into the gardens. So the weed fabric helps some with that, but there's still so much weed pressure. With the pyro weeder, we can prepare a bed and walk this four foot wide pyro weeder down the bed and burn off all of those weed seeds. I work here mostly um, by myself this season um, with the help of my family. My husband plays an incredible supportive role and my kids love to help on the farm with harvesting. They get really excited about anything having to do with packaging, <laughs> label making, things like that. For my son, harvesting things like ornamental pumpkins, that's his thing. He loves to be the pumpkin guy. My daughter, you know, she is just so helpful. She just wants to lend a hand, especially when she sees that things are getting busy. I'm really blessed to have them involved in my business and to let them see, you know, this whole process. I think it's important to me to find ways to make this business work year-round. We get quite a lot of snow and ice in the wintertime. It's kind of a greenhouse owner's nightmare <laughs> in some respects. The tunnels that we're purchasing now from Farmer's Friend have a gothic profile and the snow sheds off them beautifully. We are able to harvest flowers later into the season. We also have used them as propagation houses, even though they're unheated, by building a series of smaller tunnels inside them and just heating those smaller tunnels 
and that's how I've been able to get a whole lot of seedlings started without actually having a large heated greenhouse space. Sometimes in the winter it can be difficult to communicate to a client what their summer wedding flowers are going to look like. Uh, so I'll actually do some illustration. I'll do some drawing for them. I put together an extensive proposal document that has lots of images of the flowers. I love that I'm also creating this very personalized process for them. Not only am I trying to operate a very environmentally friendly, a very sustainable farm, but I'm also carrying that um, practice over into the design studio. We are working without any sort of floral foam and it breaks down into microplastics and it's really horrible for the environment and sustainably designed floral work is really important. Um, it's certainly a cornerstone of what we do here and it's a part of the education that we provide to the consumer when they come to us as well. We're thinking about how we are giving back to nature, hopefully, as, as much as we are uh, benefiting from it. Every day is different. Some days I'm gonna be completely filthy dirty from head to toe, sweaty. Right when I start to get kind of exhausted from that mode, my life will change and I'll be working more on the design side. Or I can come in and do some photography or work on a wedding proposal. It doesn't get boring at all because I have this, um, this wonderful cycle of all these different things that happen. And of course that changes throughout the year, but that's what keeps the work interesting to me for sure. With locally grown flowers, we're able to bring products to market that you just can't otherwise get. As a person who is interested in the visual arts, this is really my way that I found to be making, be designing, and to be earning a living at the same time. I have an innate need to tinker, to create, to build things. I just happen to be growing my own art supplies. We do have so much shared joy over the things that are growing and the things that we're harvesting here on the farm and I see that in my kids. I see that in their wonder when they're chasing frogs and grasshoppers. I think that there's a gift to them that we are giving them by having this life outdoors. This is our way of instilling in them the same values and, and interest in nature that I receive from my family. The good life to me is hard, often dirty work, but so beautiful and rewarding. This is the good life. Hi guys, I'm Jonathan with Farmer's Friend. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button and subscribe to see more inspiring stories like this. To learn more about our innovative small farm tools and supplies like easy to assemble greenhouse kits, flame weeders, and a lot more, check out our website at farmersfriend.com. This is the good